This is the first small rig carbon fiber tripod. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and B&H. Hi, Udi Tirosh with DIYphotography.net. I'm here at NAB 2023 with David Joe, a brand specialist for Small Rig. David, this is the first tripod, the, the first carbon tripod that Small Rig has made. Tell me a little bit about it. So yeah, so this is the free blazer, heavy duty uh, carbon fiber tripod. Uh, like you said, it's the first carbon fiber tripod that Small Rig has ever made. And the cool thing is, you know, it's 11 pounds. It's lightweight, easy to pack up, easy to travel with. But it's 11 pounds, but takes a 22 pound payload. Uh, payload. So that's, uh, uh, you know, 10 kilogram payload. Uh, How much is 11 pounds in kilos? Uh, five, five kilos. Five kilos. Uh, is, mm -hmm. is that the head and the sticks? Correct, yes. Yes. Uh, so, you know, very lightweight, very portable, packs down pretty small, uh, you know, so it's very friendly if you're going from location to location, uh, but, you know, still delivers heavy duty features. You call this a heavy duty tripod. Who is it for? So this is, I mean, from everyone, for creators to professionals, right? It really services anybody who's looking for a, a video tripod. So, right, it, it can take a light payload, heavy payload, uh, 10 kilos, right? So you can have a pretty big camera on there, pretty big he uh, hefty setup. Uh, so really, it, it's really catered towards everybody. And this is a, this, I've seen a similar version that is aluminum, the AD-01. What are the main differences between that tripod and this tripod? So one of the biggest differences, right, this tripod it, uh, comes in with uh, small rigs, patented uh, a free speed feature, right, where uh, all three, uh, each, each leg, all three columns is controlled by a single latch. So very quickly you undo all three latches and you can raise it to the maximum height of 77 uh, inches. I, I don't have that in set. I think it's 197 centimeters. It's, I think that's, it's, it's tall, it's taller than me. You know, <laughs> I have to get on a ladder to use it at max height. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the big uh, standout features uh, in, in my opinion. Um, and then throughout the, you know, the, the tripod, you have your flat feet, uh, but it's a quick release detach to switch to spiked feet. So depending on what terrain you're uh, shooting in, that offers you versatility and flexibility in terms of keeping a stable tripod going. And as we move up, right, there's the uh, center spreader. So that way, if you want your tripod to be wide to give you more stability because you have a heavy payload, you have that. But if you're shooting in a smaller studio, smaller location, you can close down to the center spreader and now you have a very compact footprint. And that, that sounds amazing. Like, I'm already in love with the sticks. Tell me a little bit about the head. Because okay. I, I can see it's not the same head as the AD-01. Right, right. So so the head here, you know, uh, first of all, you know, it's it's what you would want from a video tripod head. You have uh, tilt control, you have pan control, right? You have tensioning and dampening on both of those. So if you want to increase the tension to get uh, a more firm, a slower pan, more controlled, you can. Uh, more controlled tilt, you can. And you can also loosen it up. Uh, it's a 75 millimeter bowl uh, uh, tripod head. And uh, one of the standout features that I think is really unique to this, can uh, to this tripod, if you look at the, if you take off the quick release plate, right? Of course on here you have a standard Manfrotto tripod plate. But for the creators out there, and for the prof professionals out there utilizing uh, DJI gimbals, right? Uh, the RS2, the RS3, you know, that system has its own uh, specific type of quick release plate. If you take this quick release plate off, there's a button that you can just press, and now it's ready to be adapted using the DJI Place. So that cuts down on the time uh, needed to go between your gimbal setup to your tri uh, tripod setup. So that sounds amazing. Show me how it works. Yeah, so all you have to do is unscrew the tension, press the quick release button, and there you go. You have two buttons right here. You, you need a standard adapter for Manfrotto styled plates. You press that, ready to go. If you have a DJI plate, press that, ready to go. Pop it in, lock it down, Ready to shoot. Tell me a little bit about the attachment points that you have on this head. Yes, absolutely. So on uh, this side, on each side of the tripod head, you can attach the uh, tripod arm, so that way you can switch it for ambidextrous use. And also on the side, there's an expansion point with a quarter 20 thread. So if you have additional accessories that you want to attach to your tripod head, you can. Like a monitor or something. Correct, yes. So yeah, what's, I'm seeing this, what's this? Right, so this is a, a telescoping tripod arm. So if in case you want to extend this out, whether because you need more reach to reach the, to reach the tripod uh, head, or if you just want more of a controlled pan or tilt, you can go ahead and extend that out and you can break it down and compact it in for a more compact fit for travel. Okay, what's the price? Th this sounds like a, a, a wonderful tripod. Um, what's the price on this? Yeah, so this is the part that blows me away the most. 399. Wow. 
Is, is that a U.S. price <laughs> or? $399 US, uh, USD, uh, you know, for the whole kit with the head, with the legs, total package. Does it come with a bag or? Yes, it comes with a carrying case as well. Uh, so that way, you know, it makes transporting a lot easier. And uh, when can I? When can you get your hands on one of those units? Yeah, so this is available uh, right now today on uh, the Small Rigs website. Amazing, David. Thank you so much. Um, stay tuned. We're going to check out Small Rigs' new Follow Focus in a second. Audit Roche NAB 2023.